You know what we're not gonna do today, you guys? We're not gonna bully me, okay? Cause I know what the comments are gonna be. We're not bullying me today, y'all. <laughs> All right, but hi, hi beautiful people. My name is Bridget and welcome back. So today we're doing a video that I never do. I dye my hair all the time, you guys. I dye my hair all kinds of fun colors. We do purple, we do orange, sometimes we do blue, sometimes we do red, sometimes we do half and half, pink and gray, blah, 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 blah. We do hair stuff on this video. But today could be the end of that. I don't know, we'll see how I like it. So today we're gonna do one of two things that I never do. I never dye my hair green on purpose, except that one time I did and I took it out immediately. We don't dye my hair black, because I did that one time too and I took it out immediately. <laughs> but today we're dyeing my hair black. I know, it's only been three weeks since I panic dyed my hair orange for my wedding. Okay, this is what we got out, you know, we got out of this, we got this mess out of it. But I'm just gonna tell you right now, my hair is really damaged. And I wanted this nice orange, like I really fought for this orange. <laughs> and ruined my hair to get it this orange because I wanted the orange contrast against my black wedding dress. I thought it was going to be really cute. And for you guys, yes, ask, yeah, I am already married, but we're doing the wedding ceremony in the middle of June and I don't want fried hair. I was thinking about cutting this into a bob, but like, but even this is like pretty screwed up and even little noodle boy. Hold on. Anubis wants to say hi. This is Anubis, my baby. He's a good boy, but even when I have my hair like with extensions in, like here are my extensions, it's hard to keep the color the same color as these and it's just kind of obvious. So I figure if I add a lot of black extensions and dye my hair black, maybe I can get a nice curly cute, like this is the inspiration, like a pinup moment. Like I'll do white glitter and a wing and a red lip. I think it'd be really cute. Um, so yeah, I think we're gonna dye my hair black. I think it just hide a lot of damage. Also, I can like Olaplex and condition and bond treatments all over the black dye and it'll keep it like healthy and repair it instead of me constantly fighting to keep this <laughs> orange. But that's what we're doing today, you guys. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But like a lot of my girl crushes and everything have black hair and maybe I can't keep my hair one color because I just in inevitably need to just dye it a solid color, a solid, black color. Maybe that's what I'm missing in my life. Maybe that's why I can't commit to a hair color. Or maybe I'll hate it and we'll have to fight this out, but it's going to stay at least till the wedding. So that's what we're doing today, you guys. Don't hate me for it. I just want my hair to look healthy. I think if I dye my hair black, it'll cover up a lot of the fried ends and stuff, and I can add a bunch of hair into it to make it look good. Even though I do worry, like if you guys know a hack, I can usually see like the band and everything in my hair because my hair is so thin, especially towards the back here. I can usually see my clip-in extensions. Maybe I can like dye the clips. I don't know. But anyways, that's what we're doing today. I just want to do my intro with makeup on because I want a real good before and after. All right, let's hope my hair doesn't fall out, y'all, because it fucking might. Okay, so I already mixed the color cream and the developer together. I also put some Olaplex Zero and number six in here to help repair a little bit and a little bit of this protein filler. So hopefully like repair my broken pieces, all that stuff is all good stuff for my hair into the developer bottle. So hopefully this works out. Also, I'm gonna need another bottle for the extensions because the extensions are not black yet. I have a pair that are really dark purple. So maybe we'll use those, I don't know. I'm gonna first though use this pre-color serum. The instructions were not very clear on what to do with this. The box said to put it beforehand to help condition your hair before. So I'm gonna apply this to the ends and then we're gonna work our way down. You know, we're going to start off at the roots and we're going to work our way down. Most people say, don't do your roots first, blah, blah, blah. But since my ends are the most damaged, I'm going to let this serum sit in there for a little bit and straight up the serum is not much. It's, it's really not much product. To the ends. And I feel like I need to do this. One, because, you know, I'll sit here and think about it every day, all day until I just do whatever I have the compulsion to do. And two, Maybe it'll give me like a um, a nice fresh look, you know, maybe something fresh. And if I want to add color, if I like how the black looks and I want to add color, I can dye the underneath of my hair like I used to with like yellow on top underneath my purple. But now that I have the serum in there, I'm going to do the top of my hair. Regrets? Possibly. Oh, and in case you're wondering, this is the keratin color K-Bond PLE. Um, from Schwarzkopf. Schwarzkopf is the least damaging of the permanent enough colors that I've ever used. And also the conditioner thing that comes with this always smells so good. So hopefully we can do that. And again, I'll just use tons of Olaplex and stuff to repair my hair afterwards, as long as my hair doesn't fall out. But it is a midnight black color. No going back. No going back. 
also I do have henna dye, henna black dye. So, cause I am naturally blonde. Um, since I'll probably need to touch up my roots in well, the next couple weeks, I can always henna dye my roots instead of dyeing my hair over again. Permanent dye is not good for your hair. So I don't mind changing like from orange to dark purple usually because I'm using a semi-permanent color. It's so not going to damage my hair. Black dye does permanent does or permanent dye does damage your hair. However, if I leave it in, if I can commit to it to leave it in if I like it, it'll be worth it. I also blame you guys because I was smart for once and actually asked you guys on Twitter if I should do this. And a good majority of y'all said yes. And a lot of you guys said like, no. <laughs> but more of you said yes. So this is your fault too. Take, taking a little bit of blame off me today. Okay, so I'm like three fourths done. Obviously the ends are still yellow. Um, <laughs> I sent my husband to Walgreens. So we can finish this up. It said 30 to 45 minutes. I'm not worried about him being gone like 10 minutes because this is going to be the least. I'm going to run it through. That last little bit will be good. I'm going to leave it in the minimum amount of time possible. So the second I get this in my hair, leave it for like five minutes. I'm rinsing it out. Ta-da! Okay, so this is the finished look, you guys. And it is black. I did do a little bit of a touch-up because a couple parts had some yellow coming through. But, like... I mean, it's kind of hard to tell because it's just black, you know, but it has a lot of blue in it. It's definitely more of like a navy base to my scalp, you know, right now it's kind of a blue scalp. I think it'll go away once I wash it a couple times, but the hair itself is very black and very pretty. What I'm thinking is because obviously this part you can tell is damaged, but for the most part, it looks healthier, I guess, like this. I'm going to get some tape-in extensions. Clip-in extensions are great. I'm going to dye the clip-in extensions that I already have, but I'm going to get a bunch of tape-ins. I'm probably going to get like three packs. I'll have really full hair, not really for the length more so for the fullness towards the bottom where it's just kind of like meh because my hair is very thin naturally. Hopefully I can hide them where it looks good, but I think that actually work. And then if I can get to curl and everything, it'd be really good. So spend a couple hundred dollars on some extensions, tape them in, and then honestly, who's gonna know? Who's gonna know? You know, I think it's gonna look really good. But overall, I don't hate it. I don't hate it as much as I thought I was going to because every time I do my hair black, it leaves within a day because I hate it. But I don't hate this. It's not that bad. But thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Hopefully I can commit to this and keep it this way for a while so my hair can like get some healthiness to it and all that because right now it's dirt to the world. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Let me know what you think down below. And don't be mad at me for dyeing my hair constantly. Okay? Okay, bye.